Hi everyone, to another episode from the Cycroft server. So we kept on grinding, we completed the whole quarry, and it's also already running now, it's fully operational. The quarry is at the moment busy, digging out the first layer. Um, so we started here on the left side, then the flying machine yeah, always grabs one slice of blocks and then brings it over. So currently it takes quite a while um, to fly over there. The machine uh, moves at two meters per second. And it would grab those uh, Nazarek blocks here. Also removes the lava, which is in the way, and it just returns. So we can watch that. This is basically the return station once the flying machine comes in. Uh, the piston here is getting pushed over, also the observer block. And yeah, it's basically a, t a flying T flip flop. So the piston gets powered once, uh, then it uh, retracts, grabs the uh, observer block. Then the observer and the piston are getting pushed, and then the piston is powered once more, pushes the observer out again, which causes the flying machine to return. So just a few meters more. Also, yeah, we can get some stats. So the whole quarry will mine 7.5 million Nazarek blocks. We get about 130,000 magma blocks. So now the machine is incoming. Check it out. And it gets moved on over, and here uh, those arms grab the uh, Nazarek blocks. So there's 360 blocks long, so we get 360 blocks. So back to the stats, so 7.5 million Nazarek, 130,000 magma blocks, then we get 66,000 Nether Quartz ore, 77,000 Nether Brick, then 56,000 Soul Sand, and 1,500 Glowstone. Also some yeah, nether brick fences and stairs, but also really glitchable. So all in all, this quarry will take about 90 days or 100, I'm not sure yet. Also the yeah, lag could affect it, but it runs at a steady 20 TPS. Um, so we hope that it <laughs> will be finished in August or September. <laughs> so here you can also see what happens next. We have a vertical flying machine coming up and it grabs the blocks from the horizontal flying machine. Also, yeah, it tells the horizontal flying machine to launch again. So check it out. Grab some blocks and then the horizontal flying machine launches again. And yeah, this is perfectly timed. Um, so there is a clock at the bottom running, um, which counts how far the horizontal flying machine progresses. Because obviously it always has to fly one block further um, yeah, to get more blocks. Okay, so at the bottom. Uh, we grab the blocks from the vertical flying machine with those pistons here. So basically with a double piston extender, those slime blocks extend twice, grab the blocks. And then the yeah, nether rack or nether quartz blocks are in that position. Then they grab the sticky pistons. There are also sticky pistons here at the bottom. They grab them again and those pistons will push them out. So here it comes. Okay. Then here we also have a TNT tube array. And just in the right moment, those uh, normal pistons here push the blocks over. So while the blocks are moving, the TNT explodes and it drops. Um, yeah, you get a 100% drop rate if you explode moving blocks. Um, and also the blast resistance is lower. The items are then collected by those super minecarts here that travel below the, bedro uh, below the obsidian. And then brought to the unloading system. Then they're shot on, to, on this uh, uh, ice, ice way. There's a little item elevator, and at the top we have a sorting system. Okay. Uh, so basically, we sort out those items here so, nether brick, fence, soul sand, uh, magma, then some quartz. We don't have much of that stuff yet. Put it in shulker boxes and some glowstone. And this whole array is just for nether rack. But we don't store the nether rack even. So let's try to get up there. That was a bad throw. Okay. So here the Nazarek is sorted out and it's put into this double chest. And yeah, once the double chest is filled up, then uh, basically this RS knowledge would deactivate and no longer power this piston. And then everything flows into this furnace right here, which is currently smelting. And then, yeah, we get the nether brick, which is then put into a shulker box. 
once the shulker box is filled up, you can't, uh, you can't actually see it because there's a block on top. Uh, yeah, it's broken and put into the uh, chest array here. And we used this double chest here just to get more out of yeah, more fuel efficiency. Because if you would put in the Nazarek every time yeah, the machine breaks some, then of course uh, we would waste some coal. So we use charcoal here to fuel the furnace array. Um, so basically, we wait until this chest is completely filled up. And then we unlock the hopper. And once the yeah, chest is completely depleted, then we lock the hopper again. And then we wait until the chest is filled up again. In this way, yeah, we get most out of the coal. Um, so currently we don't have much charcoal left. So I put in some shulker boxes filled with charcoal, but those won't last forever. So we have uh, some few left for about 150,000 smelting operations. But I said in total, we're probably going to get seven and a half million Nazarek in order to smelt it all, of course. So we need to get some fuel and yeah, we have two options, more or less, that are automatic, either uh, blazes for blaze rods, it's quite a good fuel source, um, but our yeah, farm is broken at the moment. Also, we have some yeah, issues with the tree farm, um, so I'm not sure what we're doing it next. Um, I guess I'll, we have some blaze rods stored, um, I'll bring some over. Uh, Methods already brought over 10 shulker boxes with blaze rods, but I guess we need some more. Alright, so we are at the furnace array complex near spawn and we will raid the blaze rod storage here. Uh, so we had this really cool system back in 1.9 and 10 uh, where we would kill blazes our, at our wizard skeleton farm, bring the drops to an end portal, transport the blaze rods through the end dimension to the spawn chunks, which is uh, over there, and automatically store it in here, the furnace ray. It was really cool, but since the blaze farm is broken, um, yeah, we can't use it anymore, and at the moment we don't have any blaze source. And the way this furnace array works is that it uh, would only work with a single fuel source because we uh, take some outputs from storages. And for example, a minecart would only uh, exit a station once it's completely filled with single string 15 and it wouldn't work with a mixed fuel. So the plan is now to remove all blaze, blaze rods here and uh, go, go back to charcoal. So this was at first running a charcoal, then our tree farm got broken, we switched to blaze rods, now the blaze farm is broken, now I'm gonna switch back to charcoal and use that again. Also, uh, I think we're gonna completely switch it up. So we have uh, too many chests here. Um, it would be better to make uh, some charcoal box systems to store all the stuff. So this place will change a lot. Okay, so it's the next day. Couldn't help myself. I just had to fix the whole fuel and charcoal situation. So I cleared out all the blaze rods and I brought them over to the main storage. So if we have about 100,000 blaze rods now, um, it would be kind of a waste to just use them for fuel now because we don't have any uh, blaze farm at the moment and we couldn't yeah, get new ones. In case Mojang would ever add something where you need blaze rods as a crafting ingredient, like in the quark mod where you could craft those yeah, beautiful lamps, um, then we won't, definitely won't have uh, some storage. Okay, so I fixed the fuel situation. Um, so we gotta do it like this now. Here we have an input system. We can add logs here in shulker boxes. And this would start the yeah, little charcoal array we have on the bottom here. So I was at a yeah, big spruce tree farm and brought over 27 shulker boxes for the spruce wood, approximately 50,000. And I would put them just into this chest here and then the furnace right here should turn on a little bit later. So we have a ring of fire, yeah there's a minecart feeding all of those furnaces and now we have to look at the complex to, yeah I want to explain it a little bit. So in order to explain everything I put myself into game of three because we have quite a mess down below here. <laughs> Um, so I think it's a lot easier to explain everything in Game of 3, then I don't need to parkour over redstone. And yeah, I think it's also better for you. So we put in the shulker boxes filled up with locks in those chests here. And those yeah, shulker boxes are picked up by the hoppers and brought to this dispenser. Um, once we have one item in there, this comparator turns on, activating this monostable, so let's keep this with the observer in front, powering the dispenser. Then the shulker box is shot on top of the upper minecart here. 
we need to use up a minecart because we need double hopper speed. We have 50 furnaces which can do um, 18,000 locks power, which is exactly double hopper speed. So, yeah, also once the shulker box would be empty, we detect it here with the comparator. This would power the sticky piston here, the slab in front, which breaks the shulker box. And yeah, the shulker box falls on top of this hopper here, picking it up. In order to prevent the hopper minecart from immediately picking up the empty shulker box, the hopper minecart is standing on an activator rail which would be powered once the shulker box is empty. So this torch turns on, disabling the hopper minecart. Okay, the, the empty shulker boxes are picked up by the hopper here, brought to this dropper. There's a little glass elevator on top and we would fill up this little chest array again so we can take out the empty shulker boxes again, bring them to our tree farm again uh, yeah, and to complete the cycle basically. So the locks yeah, here, just got a new shulker box. Okay. Yeah, the locks that are sent to this double chest here are picked up by another hopper minecart and are distributed over 50 hoppers to the charcoal furnaces. Under the charcoal furnaces, we have another line of hoppers which would fill up this dropper here, a little dropper elevator, and then we shoot out the charcoal again and it's sent over to hoppers that would feed the furnace again. So this way we can yeah, use the charcoal that we make to fuel the charcoal furnaces again. So if those uh, hoppers in the back are completely filled up, the charcoal would go to this little shulker box filling system. So again we have a uh, double hopper speed, one hopper couldn't handle the amount of items and we fill up those black shulker boxes. So just use black here to indicate coal, um, and since it's also a closed system, we won't confuse it with anything else. We have some yeah, designated colors on the server, so we, yeah, everybody knows what's, for example, in dark green shulker boxes. We always have ender pearls in there, or if we use orange for rockets, etc. But since the system is closed, we could use a color instead. Normally we just use white shulker boxes for, for storage. Uh, anyway. Um, so once uh, shulker boxes fill up with coal, shulker boxes of course were broken, then a new shulker box is uh, dispensed and this hopper would pick up the shulker boxes, bring it again to a little dropper elevator and then it's first distributed to another elevator here in the back. So just reuse the old system. Previously we sent up the charcoal directly here and then brought to this little chest array. So here we have basically an option um, to take out black shulker boxes and bring it over to the quarry. But usually we would just fill up this dispenser here. Perfect, we have already one. Let's go back to game of zero and place it down. So here I didn't use an yeah, uh, automatic system to dispense the shulker boxes because um, assuming that we always have coal at some point. So this, was, this is the very first shulker box that we have here. Um, that's why it wasn't dispensed, but from now on, probably won't run out. Okay, anyway, so we have a shulker box here. Let's go back to spectator mode. And yeah, the shulker box is emptied by the hopper below, filling up this double chest here. And then we have two hopper minecarts again, which would fuel our other two furnace arrays. So we have again um, another 50 furnace array. This is just for smooth stone, because we have a little cobble farm below, as you can see. The wizard is renamed cobblestone farm. And then we have the big furnace array with 150 furnaces. So of course, those yeah, hoppers here in the back would fuel the furnaces. And those hopper minecarts yeah, bring over the, the charcoal. So again, there's a threshold system. So once a certain threshold is reached, they send on its way to refuel the furnace. Yeah, and that's basically it. That's how we fuel our furnaces in the furnace array complex at spawn. There's also still some work left to do. So the storage revolution of the shulker boxes isn't completed yet. Um, so for example, we have this yeah, huge chest array on both sides for cobblestone. On the other side, we store a smooth stone. Um, we also want to replace that with the shulker box system. Also, for example, we still have the input into the large furnace rate, so the 150 um, furnaces with, uh, yeah, with loose items. So we have an item distribution system below there. 
But I guess it would be nicer just to fill, to fill it up with, um, yeah, filled up uh, shulker boxes instead. So there's still some work left to do. Um, and we might also want to, yeah, even hook up the tree form directly to this uh, complex here. So the tree form is about 2000 blocks away from here. But since no longer that much of a problem to transport huge amounts of items, could, for example, make an instant drop a line from the tree farm to here to automatically um, yeah, refill the uh, log storage, of course. Another option would be just to build a new tree farm here, but I guess since yeah, it doesn't make sense to have a duplicate tree farms, I guess we're going to do the 2000 drop along line. What I didn't mention so far yet is that everything here is also connected to a chunk loading grid. So if any of the systems would turn on, then also the chunk loading is activated. So we can just leave the area while the furnaces are still running. So as you can see here at the bottom, we have a chunk loading grid with those hoppers. And yeah, it's connected to the spawn chunks, but it's outside of the spawn chunks, which are inside of the area we covered with ice. Because hoppers, furnaces, and chests are tile entities, um, and they also get ticked. And yeah, in order to prevent the lag, while we don't need those systems here, we build it outside of the spawn chunks. So that's the plan now to deal with the fuel situation at the quarry site. So we want to bring over a lot of logs, put it in those chests here. Um, we still have like half a million spruce logs stored at the tree farm. The tree farm also needs to be fixed. Um, so there's also some work left to do. <laughs> then I'll just wait one day. The shulker boxes will back up into those chests here. So we have a lot of shulker boxes full of coal in here. And then I'll bring them over to the furnace ray at the quarry site. Okay, so I guess we could check out the quarry once more. So it's been running for one more day. So let's go over there again. So back at the quarry site. The quarry has been running for approximately two days now. And let's check out our nether brick storage. Yeah, we have almost 150,000 nether bricks already. So I think the fuel should last a little longer. Let's try to parkour up there. Again, the tree was nicer. See some stuff. And let's check the dispenser. Yeah, we still have some blaze rods and charcoal left. So I guess I can wait another day to uh, bring some stuff over. can also check out the progress of the quarry. So as I said, it will take about 90 days to finish completely. And the quarry has gone down, so we completely finished the layer. And we're almost uh, over there to finish the second layer. So there's just about 50 blocks left on this side here. And then the quarry would move down a layer once more. Okay, so I guess we are pretty much done here with the quarry project. So this just has to run for 90 days. Um, of course, we check on it. What we also want to do is also try to make a hopper grid for the quarry so we don't need uh, an yeah, account here to load to load the area. So we also want to automate it if it's possible. Not sure if we can really pull it, put it off, pull it off to keep the uh, nether loaded, but I'm optimistic. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.